Hello everyone and a warm welcome to all of you. In this video lecture, I will discuss the topic of the meaning and nature of leadership in educational administration. Let us try to understand the meaning of leadership in educational administration. Leadership in educational administration plays a crucial role in shaping the overall learning environment, influencing the success of educational institutions and fostering the development of both educators and students. This complex and dynamic field requires leaders who can navigate the challenges of educational systems while inspiring positive change. Let's delve into the meaning and nature of leadership in educational administration. 1. Influence and Direction At its core, leadership in educational administration is about exerting a positive influence on the various stakeholders within an educational institution. This influence goes beyond the authority granted by a position. It relies on the leader's ability to inspire, motivate, and guide individuals toward a shared vision and common objectives. 2. Visionary Guidance Educational leaders are responsible for envisioning the future of the institution. This involves developing a clear and compelling vision that articulates the institution's mission, values, and long-term goals. A well-defined vision provides a road map for the entire community, fostering a sense of purpose and direction. 3. Decision-making and problem-solving Leadership in educational administration involves making informed and effective decisions. Educational leaders face a myriad of decisions, ranging from strategic planning and resource allocation to addressing issues related to curriculum, student welfare, and faculty development. Sound decision making is critical for the overall success and growth of the institution. 4. Collaboration and team building Educational administrators must cultivate a collaborative culture within their institutions. Effective leaders build and nurture strong teams, encourage open communication, and foster a sense of shared responsibility. Collaboration among educators, staff, students, parents, and other stakeholders is essential for creating a positive and supportive learning environment. 5. Adaptability and Innovation The field of education is constantly evolving, influenced by changes in technology, pedagogy, and societal needs. Leaders in educational administration must be adaptable and proactive in embracing innovation. They should encourage a culture of continuous improvement and be willing to explore new and effective ways of teaching and learning. 6. Advocacy for education Educational leaders serve as advocates for the importance of education within the broader community. This involves engaging with policymakers, community leaders, and other stakeholders to emphasize the significance of investing in education. Advocacy efforts aim to garner support for educational initiatives and secure the necessary resources for the institution. Let me now discuss the nature of leadership in educational administration. The nature of leadership in educational administration is characterized by a set of principles, values, and practices that are specific to the educational context. Educational leaders navigate a complex landscape, overseeing various aspects of educational institutions while striving to create an environment conducive to learning, growth, and development. The nature of leadership in educational administration can be elucidated through several key dimensions. One servant leadership. One prominent aspect of the nature of leadership in educational administration is the concept of servant leadership. Educational leaders often adopt a service-oriented approach, prioritizing the needs of students, educators, and the community over their own. Servant leaders foster a culture of empathy, collaboration, and collective success. Two transformational leadership. Educational administrators frequently engage in transformational leadership, a style that focuses on inspiring and motivating individuals to exceed their own expectations. Transformational leaders encourage innovation, creativity, and a commitment to continuous improvement, fostering a dynamic and forward-thinking educational environment. 3. Ethical leadership. 
the nature of leadership in educational administration places a significant emphasis on ethical conduct. Educational leaders are expected to uphold high ethical standards, demonstrating integrity, fairness, and transparency in their decision-making processes. Ethical leadership is paramount for building trust among stakeholders and maintaining the credibility of the educational institution. 4. Instructional Leadership Educational leaders function as instructional leaders, actively shaping the quality of teaching and learning within their institutions. This involves providing support for professional development, curriculum design, and the implementation of effective teaching strategies. Instructional leadership is crucial for enhancing the overall educational experience for students. 5. Communication Skills Effective communication is a fundamental aspect of leadership in educational administration. Leaders must be adept at conveying their vision, goals, and expectations clearly to diverse audiences, including educators, students, parents, and community members. Open and transparent communication fosters trust and collaboration within the educational community. 6. Crisis Management Educational administrators must possess strong crisis management skills due to the unpredictable nature of the educational landscape. Whether dealing with budgetary challenges, emergencies, or societal issues, leaders must exhibit resilience, adaptability, and the ability to make well-informed decisions under pressure. 7. Collaboration and Team Building the collaborative nature of educational administration involves building effective teams and fostering a sense of community among educators and other stakeholders. Leaders recognize the importance of shared decision-making and collaborative problem-solving to create a positive and inclusive learning environment. 8. Focus on equity and inclusion Educational leaders are increasingly expected to prioritize equity and inclusion in their decision-making processes. This involves addressing disparities in educational outcomes, promoting diversity, and creating an inclusive environment that values and respects the unique backgrounds and needs of all students. 9. Continuous Improvement the nature of leadership in educational administration is grounded in a commitment to continuous improvement. Leaders actively seek opportunities for growth and development, both for themselves and their institutions. This may involve staying abreast of educational research, embracing new pedagogical approaches, and adapting to emerging trends in education. Thank you, everyone. If you're passionate about education and teacher training, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal. The link for subscription is given in the description section.